Now it's Kenny Tete with the ball. Still Tete, yeah? A right back's on a run. He decides to cross the ball in. Anthony Martial goes over the defender, takes the header and scores. A quality header that was from Anthony Martial. We may get two goals to nil. How is it going? It is S2G and welcome to Season 2, Episode number 5 of the Manchester United Career Mode Series. In today's episode, we'll be having three games in the Premier League and also a game in the Champions League against Zenit. If you guys are enjoying this series, drop a like on the video. 50 likes would be awesome again. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Also guys, do drop a comment letting me know your favourite player in the series. I would love to know who your favourite player in this series is. Also guys, this is how the league table looks right now. We're not doing that well. Fourth position is decent, but... We are Premier League champions and hence we're expected to do much better. Hopefully in today's episode we'll be able to get 9 points out of 9. We will be facing Middlesbrough, our first game of today's episode, then Aston Villa and then West Ham United. In between those fixtures we'll also be having a game against Zenit in the Champions League. I'm not too worried about that because we started off our Champions League campaign pretty well and it's the league we're really struggling in. So hopefully we will be able to win all our league games. Also guys, in the last episode I asked you guys who should be our first choice striker and you guys voted for Anthony Martial probably because of his performances lately and I think it made sense now making Martial our first choice striker. Last season Harry Kane was so good we had to bench Martial throughout the whole season. This season Kane hasn't really found his form yet and that's why it makes sense giving Martial a chance to play in the first team alongside Cristiano Ronaldo and Gareth Bale and prove his word to us. Hopefully he'll have a good game here against Middlesbrough. This is the team I'm going with for this game against Middlesbrough. I'm resting a couple of my you know first team players like Juan Mata and obviously Schneiderlin just to you know give these players a chance and a part that rest them up for that game against Zenit. First chance here for us in this game, Gareth Bale with the ball cut inside, takes a shot with his right foot surprisingly. The keeper made a save, a very weird animation that was for a shot from Gareth Bale. Should have done better there. In the 28th minute, we have a free kick here to score. 22 yards, Cristiano Ronaldo to take it. Ronaldo's free kicks aren't that great, but this one was fantastic. And it goes straight into the back of the net. And in the 28th minute, we do get the lead. A goal from Cristiano Ronaldo. A fantastic free kick that was from him. And obviously, he earned the free kick and he scored it. Now, another chance here for a Schweinsteiger with the ball. It's still Schweinsteiger, yeah? Schweinsteiger takes it back, puts it into Ross Barkley. And that's a decent finish from Ross Barkley with his left foot. 41 minutes gone. 2-0 to Manchester United. Millsborough have had no chance in this game whatsoever. Maybe another chance here for us before halftime. Barkley plays the ball through to Gareth Bale here, who is now 1-1 one -on -one with the keeper. He has options to his left, decides to take the shot on his own, but the keeper does make the save. So basically halftime, 2-0 to Manchester United, which isn't that bad, but now they have a chance to score. Clayton plays the ball into Ricci, who takes the shot, but it goes wide. Not that far, to be honest, but 61 minutes done in this game, and it is still 2-0 to Manchester United. Maybe another chance here to make it 3-0. Martial here plays the ball into Ronaldo, a brilliant through ball from Martial, and look at that for a finish from Cristiano. And in the 72nd minute here, we make it 3-0. Cristiano's second goal of the game. What a pass as well from Martial. And Martial has been actually really good in this game, creating a lot of opportunities for his teammates and for himself as well. Chance here for us now. Gareth Bale with the ball, plays it into Kenny Tete. Our right back is in another attacking position. He plays it into Barkley. And that's a very good finish from Ross Barkley, making it 4-0 in this game. This was really one of the best performances so far this season. 4-0 against Middlesbrough, just fantastic. Another chance here, maybe to make it final. Kante plays the ball into Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he get his hat-trick? One-on-one with the keeper. And that's a terrific finish from Cristiano. And in the 90th minute, we make it 5-0 against Middlesbrough. Just amazing, 90 minutes gone. Basically, that's the end of this game. Final against a team in the Premier League. That is just ridiculously good. A hat-trick for Cristiano. Hat-trick Naldo. So, fantastic performance from Cristiano. Kante got the assist for the last goal. And that was his first assist of the season. Really good to see. Adnan Yanuzai does accept his contract, which is pretty good. We offered him a contract in the last episode as he wanted a pay rise. And now it's time to face Zenit in today's episode. Another thing, guys, Sula is delighted with his Man United opportunities, which is really good to see. I mean, I, I kind of was worried when I signed him that he would ask to leave because of his lack of opportunities because of Varane and Smalling but that's not the case he's kind of happy with all his opportunities that he's getting also guys now it's time to face Zenit in the Champions League we're doing pretty well right now after playing two games in the Champions League with six points so with a win here we could seal qualification for the round of 16 of the Champions League and I think if we win this game it's pretty much done 
we'll go to the next round of the Champions League, which will be sick. And here we have the first chance of this game. Harry Kane is playing this one. He really needs to perform because, well, Martial has taken his place and Harry Kane needs to prove his worth. But his shot here yeah, hits the post. I mean, Harry Kane, he's not going through a good spell of form. I mean, he's really struggling right now. Hopefully, he'll get back to his very best. Last season, he scored 23 goals. If he can get anywhere near that, that would be just sick. Here, Sergio Romero makes a very good save. He's playing instead of De Gea. I decided to give him some game time. He makes a decent save there. In the 29 minute here, chance here for us. Bellerin storms forward, plays the ball into Harry Kane, whose header is saved by the keeper. Even heads to Bellerin. He needs to perform well as well because Kenny Tete has been in the form of his life. Three assists in the last two episodes. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo, goes past the player with the Berber spin, takes a shot there, but their keeper did make a very good save. 52 minutes gone, the game is still nil nil, but a chance here for Zenit here. The ball somehow finds its way to Hulk, and Hulk shoots, and Hulk scores. In the 56th minute, Zenit's main man, Hulk, scores. And to put us 1-0 down against him. Our big players weren't really performing in this game. Cristiano Ronaldo and Harry Kane both weren't playing that well. So I decided to bring off Lingard for Bale. Hopefully that will help change this game. Also I'm bringing on Anthony Martial. Maybe that could help. He was so good in the last episode. Maybe it could change things for us. Also I'm bringing off Mata because he's got himself injured. Which is a real shame. He was so good last season. I mean the players that were good last season like Kane and obviously Mata. This season aren't performing that well. Which is a shame. But this this matter injury could be a break for Ross Barkley who's looking really good in these days playing some good football and this could be his chance to get into the first team. Also guys Marcus Rashford wants some game time. He wants to get his debut with Manchester United so that's exactly what we will be doing. We will be giving Marcus Rashford his debut against Aston Villa. Let's see if he can get a goal for himself. That'd be just epic. In real life I think in his debut he did score. So let's see if he can score on his debut here. That'd be sick. Mata is going to be out for like three weeks. A big break for Ross Barkley who will be playing this game and the next one definitely let's see if we can score a goal and obviously perform well so there you go this is the team i'm going with for this second game or in fact the third game of this episode against aston villa away from home in the premier league we won our last premier league game which is great hopefully we will be able to win this one as well here's schweinsteiger now to marcus rashford on his debut here rashford goes past one it's still rashford here takes the shot but guzan makes a very good save keeping the score nil nil after 20 minutes again another chance here for his garrett bale here with the ball in the 57 minute of this game spots Marcus Rashford's run who is now one-on-one -on -one with the keeper it's still Rashford here who takes the shot but Guzan again made the save pressure from the defenders didn't allow him to get a good shot off I mean connect well with the ball we really weren't creating too many chances in this game so I decided to bring off Rashford and bring on Martial hopefully Martial will help us change this game already guys we're looking much better in this game here's Anthony Martial now onto Cristiano Ronaldo we'll need a big performance from him in the latter stages of this game to turn it around here's Cristiano here going on a solo run goes past one defender defender it's still Ronaldo chops it inside it's still Cristiano he shoots and he scores in the 72nd minute of this game we finally take the lead it was such a difficult game to score but finally Cristiano Ronaldo opens up the Aston Villa defense and we have scored away from home against Villa that is just amazing another chance here fresh night and then plays the ball into Cristiano Ronaldo it's literally three on two here but Ronaldo decides to go all alone it's still Cristiano Cristiano with the finesse shot and he has scored as well in the 87th minute we make it 2-0 two goals from Cristiano Ronaldo and just a wonderful performance from him in general he scored like five goals in this last two Premier League games a hat-trick against Middlesbrough and now a brace against Aston Villa just a fantastic performance from Cristiano in general and thanks to his performance we have won this game two goals nil and that's put us in third position in the Premier League we are just four points behind City and Spurs City and Spurs have looked solid so far this season with just one draw and one loss each and we have looked kind of shaky with three draws and just one loss but hopefully we will be able to turn things around our next game is also in the Premier League against West Ham at home as you can see guys Cristiano has put himself in the race for the golden boot before this episode he had only two goals in the Premier League and now he's got seven he's just scored five in the last two that is just ridiculous he's just you know a goal behind Niaise I'm pretty sure I butchered his name but anyways he's just a goal behind the Everton striker but anyways guys now we'll be facing West Ham and let's see if we can make it nine points out of nine in the Premier league in this episode this is the team i'm going with again martial starts over game because he's been solid so far in that striker position for me hopefully he will be able to get a goal for himself he hasn't really scored in this episode but he's been pretty good a chance here for us here's barkley into martial that's a beautiful finish from anthony martial just a confident striker's finish i mean that was just great harry kane i'm not sure if he would have scored that because of his form but anthony martial he's been so good for me this season and there you go he's got a goal for himself and that's just awesome chance here again for martial this time he decides to lay it off
off to Cristiano who shoots it first time with his left foot but it hits the post how unlucky was Cristiano there he's hit the post a lot of times in this season already which is kind of bad but anyways he scored a lot of goals as well which is good here's Ronaldo again can he score this time he shoots and it hits Ogbonna and goes out for a corner obviously we didn't do anything from the corner but anyways a great chance for Cristiano to score now it looks like West Ham have a chance to score Smalling makes a mistake while defending he just could, should have probably cleared the ball the ball just fell to Valencia then who took a shot but it went wide so we're kind of safe there but now they have a chance here yeah, Andy Carroll with the ball plays it into Obiang Obiang into Payet and Payet with a very easy finish and beats De Gea and scores in the 83rd minute of this game don't think West Ham deserved that that was literally one of the only opportunities in this game and they scored from it so we weren't clinical in this game we probably should have scored another goal or so Ronaldo had a lot of opportunities to score but he couldn't score them and anyways the game does end one all which isn't that bad but I wanted to win that game and make it, you know, three wins out of three in the Premier League. That'd be just sick. Also, guys, time for some training sessions. Again, I'm training Yanazai, Marcus Rashford, Barkley, Sula, and Kenny Tete. Tete is very close to being, you know, 77 rated, which is good. He's been really good so far this season. As you can see, guys, Mata is back from his injury. He was ridiculously good last season, and hopefully he will be able to find his top quality form this season. That'll be awesome. The same with Harry Kane. I just want him to, you know, perform well for me because he's such a good player in this game. And the Herrera wants more game time but I think it's going to be difficult to give him more game time because of how good Schweinsteiger has been. We'll talk about that later, but our player of the episode today is none other than Cristiano Ronaldo, who bagged himself five goals in the two Premier League games he played. He also played in the other two games, but wasn't that great. He scored five goals and got an average rating of eight, which is really good. And I mean, some of his goals with his top quality finishes, and especially this one, this was such a good finish. I never thought he would score from that angle. And again, this one as well was a really good finish and the keeper had absolutely no chance. And that's why we bought him 90 million plus Depay, a really good transfer in my opinion. Also guys, as we were talking about Herrera, Schweinsteiger, he's been so good so far this season and I can't really bench him. He's been solid in that midfield and I don't think we will be selling him in the January transfer window. I think we'll keep him and then sell him in the summer transfer window. I think that's the plan, but I'll still give Herrera a chance in the next game. Hopefully he will be able to take that opportunity. As you can see guys, we're now in fourth position in the league again, which is bad. Six points behind Spurs, four points behind City and two points behind Arsenal. I mean, all the big teams this season and the Premier League are performing well apart from Liverpool who are in 18th place. Also guys, this is how the Champions League table looks. Three games played, two wins for us and just that one loss against Zenit and we have six points here. Our loss to Zenit has completely opened up this group. I mean, all four teams can now qualify for the next round of the Champions League which is kind of a shame because we could have sealed it in that last game but now we have to work for it. We, have, we are going to be playing Gladbach in the next episode. Hopefully we will be able to beat them. We'll also be having this game against West Brom in the next episode and that game against Manchester City. I'm not sure if we'll have that game against Zenit, but if we will, you guys will find out soon. If you guys are enjoying this series, drop a like on the video. 50 likes would be awesome again. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, that'd be sick. Follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel. The support on this series has been awesome and I can't thank you enough for it. And I will see you guys soon for another episode of this series.